Since the late 1950s, black basketball players have taken the NBA to new heights. But it's surprising to learn that after basketball was invented in 1891, the first black teams were paramount in shaping the game we know and love today. In 1904, basketball was first introduced to African Americans on a wide-scale, organized basis. There's a sort of philosophy of basketball as one of these activities that we could use to keep young men from going on a wayward path. All these early advertisements for basketball games in the black community always said basketball and dance. They would have live orchestras during games. It was this idea of basketball and music all being part of one night of entertainment. People are coming to these games, 1,000, 2,000 spectators. This could be a lucrative business. And that's where Bob Douglas came in. Douglas was an organizer. He founded the New York Renaissance, the first all-black, black-owned professional basketball team. Most aspects of American social life was very segregated. Black talent was not given a big showcase. So there was a kind of showmanship that they had to use in order to entertain. The Wrens would go to these all-white towns and they would beat the local all-white team. People would come from miles around. It was a big deal. In 1939, a Chicago newspaper said, let's have an official tournament. So they invited the 12 best professional teams, including the New York Wrens. The Wrens were locked in a rivalry predating the tournament with the Oshkosh All-Stars, which was an all-white team out of Wisconsin. This 1939 matchup was gonna really determine once and for all who was the best. Thousands came to the game. They knew it was gonna be a tough fight, but on the strength of shooting, moving the ball, and just overall firepower, the Rams got the victory. They were world's champions, not colored world's champions. And it was a tremendous win, not only for the Renaissance and Bob Douglas, but also for the black community. And by innovating in ways that affected the game itself, black players popularized basketball at a time when it wasn't yet America's game. Basketball became a cultural expression, the game where you could express your creativity. There's a legacy of Dr. J to Magic Johnson to Michael Jordan. It's not enough to win the game. You want to win the game with style. Curry from half court. 